Praise the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, there is a choir which will present, maybe after now, the Air Force Comprehensive Secondary School Choir. I don't know if they are here. Um, the Air Marshal, the late Air Marshal, was instrumental to the founding of that, that school. So if they are here, we'll give them time later on the program to say one or render a, a piece to the glory of God and in the honor of the departed. Right now, we like to get into the word and we like to introduce and welcome Group Captain Bassi, who will introduce the speaker. Uh, before then, please, um, if you have condolences, please register them with um, Reverend Emma Ebong. He's seated up here. Maybe he'll go down a little bit to get your condolence messages. We may not read any condolence message except for particular ones. So please, bear that in mind. Thank you. Your Excellency... The Deputy Governor of Aquaibum State, may I crave your indulgence to dwell on existing protocol. The man of God ordained to bring the message on this very solemn ceremony is no other than Group Captain Reverend Dr. Dogo Barry Ghani, who is the Director Chaplaincy Protestant Nigerian Air Force. May I now invite Reverend Group Captain Ghani for the message. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise be the name of the Lord. I count it a great privilege and honor to be part of this great occasion, as solemn as it is. At the same time, we have every reason to appreciate the Lord. The government and people of Akwaibom State, the deputy governor, The Chief of the Air Staff, the Nigerian Air Force family, the Chairman, United Evangelical Church, and all the pledges, various groups that have gathered here this morning to celebrate a life that God himself has used in the sound of the earth. I bring you greetings in Jesus' name. I stand even on behalf of the chaplains in Nigerian Air Force and the entire religious specialty in the Air Force to appreciate God for what he had done through the life of this great man lying instead today. Through his wisdom and commitment to the Lord, he initiates the establishment of the religious department in the Nigerian Air Force. And as such, we hold him with great honor and we respect him. I want to say to the Lord, we are grateful. And indeed, some of us, particularly myself, we are one of the pioneers of commissioning of chaplaincy in the Nigerian Air Force. So I counted a privilege to partake in the burial of my father. I was with a friend yesterday and I told him three people I felt I'm honored to partake in their burial. My grandfather, my father, and Air Marshal Edward. Because they are people that God used to make some of us where we are. And I said to the Lord, I count it a great honor. Indeed, the Lord is faithful. Shall we bow our head in prayers? Father in heaven, we thank you this morning 
we magnify and glorify your holy name. That of a truth there is none like you. Thank you, Rock of Ages, for thou says that every man's days I am marked from heaven, and when the days are fulfilled, are over, we can never out with an inch. Father, we've gathered here this morning to celebrate your faithfulness in the life of your servant, whom you have used during his stay on earth until it pleases you to grant him eternal rest. Ancient of days, lift up your name above all, and may we behold your glory even in this gathering. Thank you, gracious and eternal Father. Grant us the comfort that no man can give. Give us the peace that no man can give. Give us the strength that no man can give. Blessed be your holy name. For in Jesus' mighty and holy name we pray. And amen. I will take a reading from the passage we read earlier. Acts chapter number 13. For time constraint, I'm not going back to all the passages. But I will take only verse number 36 of Acts chapter number 13. Verse 36 says, For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, fell asleep and was laid in his father, with his fathers, and so corruption. Verse 37, I add, But he whom God raised, did, raised up did not see corruption. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in Jesus' name. I titled the short homily this morning as serving God's purpose. Everyone have a purpose for what you do. Every one of us here have one profession or the other. Every one of us here have one, one thing or the other that we do in life. Everything that a man does in life have a reason. The reason for which you do what you do determines how you are committed to it. The reason why you do what you do is that motivation that pushes you to commit yourself into doing it. Brethren, purpose is the goal for which you act and, and react. Purpose is the reason why you behave the way you behave. I saw purpose as the reason for which something is done or created for which is being created. A person solve of reserve, resolve for determination. I describe purpose as that which a man desired and have the, and the goal of one's action. What he moves, what moves him towards an action. No wonder. Isaiah chapter number 43 verse 7, the Lord says, I created you for my glory. That is the purpose for which God created you and I. The passage we read from Acts chapter number 13, Paul in presenting the gospel message to the Jews, took a background history of the Jewish life from the time of God's promised to the children of Israel in the Old Testament and understanding the position of David in history, Paul drew their attention after analyzing the history of the Old Testament to the New Testament from John the Baptist. He now said that David, a very great revered man in Israel, Till today, when you go to Jerusalem, if there is any king in Israel that the children of Israel respect till tomorrow is the grave of David. Why? Because as far as the Jewish are concerned, the David is the greatest king that ever lived. And as such, till today, they refer his grave. And Paul ended in that verse 36 by saying, David, serve the purpose some version says the will of God in his generation and I stand here this morning to say brethren 
What is the purpose of God you are serving? Even as you are seated here this morning, I don't know what you are living. David served. Oh, I said, are we serving? Oh, we demand to be served. Jesus 